So here it says Taylor's Tree Farm sold a total of 110 trees in November. They sold 4.5 times as many pine trees as fir trees. So they've already written two equations to model that situation. And they're telling us that P represents the number of pine trees and F represents the number of fir trees. So this is what we call a system of equations, and you can solve these by using substitution or elimination, um, but the easiest, the most reliable way to solve it on the state test is just to graph it. If we were to graph these two equations, the point where they intersect represents the solution to both of those equations. This is the X and the Y that is on both of those lines. So when you have these equations, you wanna make sure that we are switching the letters to X and Y because not all graphing calculators rep recognize other letters like P and F. They'll be confused, don't know what to do. So let's change these first to X and Y, then we're gonna enter this into our graphing calculator. So let's change all the P's to X. So it's very important that you write down then what X represents. And then let's change the F's to Y. And then let's look at the question. It says, how many fir trees were sold? So fir trees, remember, is our Y. So this is really saying, what is Y? So let's go graph it on the graphing calculator and we're gonna look for the Y coordinate of this point where they intersect. So this is what you're gonna see when you click on calculator. If you scroll down in the bottom left corner is where you'll see the option to show keypad. So let's enter in our first equation, X plus Y equals 110. And then after you do that, click the plus button to add an item and select expression. And now we can do the 4.5 Y equals X. So I can see one of the equations, but I can't see the other. So I'm gonna zoom out until you can see it. And you just care about, again, that point where they intersect. And remember, we are asked for the Y coordinate, the number of fir trees. So we would say the answer is 20.